In this video, we are going to discuss about the suboccipital triangle uh, anatomy. Its basic concepts. I mean to say, how is it oriented, and its applied aspect that is cerebro medullary cystine puncture. So, uh, it's a deep triangle in the area between the occiput and the spina of second cervical vertebra that is axis. Now, to approach it, uh, dissections or uh, what we do, we cut attachments of trapezius so it's a 3d anatomy model we will cut through it let us hide it now we can see the trapezius let us cut through trapezius now we can see here the splenius capitis and we can see this semispinalis capitis now uh, now we have to cut uh, or dissect through the splenius capitis let us dissect it now the muscle visible we can see the spinal semi spinalis capitis fascicle medial and it is splenius cervicis and we can see the attachment of the sternoclavido mistoid so it's a posterior part which is uh, here we can have the boundaries of the nuca occiput frontalis muscle it is the branching of the superior nuchal line now after it uh, cutting after cutting the splenius capitis on the attachment side of the mesial process we have to see uh, over the uh, semi spinalis capitis and longissimus capitis laterally see this is the longissimus sorry here yeah this is the longissimus capitis laterally and uh, we have semi spinalis capitis medially now after that or removing these muscles let us remove this now we have approached the sub occipital triangle kindly see that after cutting all the muscle that we discussed here we can see the boundaries of suboccipital triangle now the most important thing is that uh, we after seeing the boundaries basically we need to see the contents now the contents of the suboccipital triangle uh, you can see here the third part of the vertical artery okay and we can see uh, palpate the arch of the atlas so this is the landmark to confirm the occipital triangle this is oblique capitis inferior muscle which is and this is the rectus capitis posterior major this is rectus capitis posterior minor which i am i am just showing to the boundary let us hide this sternocleidomastoid mustard and we have this obliquus capitis inferior so this way we approach the suboccipital triangle you can see it is below the occiput so it's called as suboccipital now how the needle is placed how the needle is uh, inserted to drain the csf it's directed forward medially and upward it is very important uh, to have the proper needle approach otherwise it may destroy your uh, important structure in the brain or may cause further infection if not proceeded well so in the cystine puncture uh, it is done when lumbar puncture fails so needle is introduced in the midline above the spine of axis in the forward and the upward direction parallel to the imagely line extending from external acoustic meatus external acoustic meatus to the nasion so the line would be like this it our line would be parallel to this i can't show you in this view but you may have a proper idea now you can see the further dura mater here also let us hide these things now it will uh, tear to the posterior atlanta occipital membrane the needle will be uh, going through this posterior atlanta occipital membrane now here we come 
here it is a destination duramet after piercing through it and then going more just uh, anterior side we'll get the drainage of the uh, of the csf so this was a uh, now this is the medulla oblongata now it is you can uh, visualize the structures better in this view so we discussed it thank you for your time goodbye